Dallin, when you're going against a, a team that's so balanced between mm -hmm. the pass and the run, what kind of a challenge does that present for you guys in the defense? Um, it's always a challenge going against a balanced team simply because they can run and pass the ball. So um, on first, second down, it's not going to be a guaranteed run. Uh, they could just air it out from the get-go or run screens and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little challenge. You just got to execute the calls that we get. Have you seen much of them on tape? Um, I haven't watched uh, a lot of them on tape yet. Um, we're probably going to start doing that uh, right after this. Um, but I know they're very physical up front. Um, they're going to try to get out there the whole game. Uh, Dalvin, what do you remember from the last time you all went to Fayetteville? Obviously, that was a really close game. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what do you recall from that? Um, it was a physical game the whole game. Um, it was just our defense came together and made some big stops in that game. And it was like a turning point for our whole team uh, that season because we was coming off the old Miss loss. And we were just trying to prove that we were still uh, contenders for the championship that year. You guys are on this amazing run of non-offensive touchdowns, mm -hmm. scoring special teams or defense. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that you guys are talking about? Is it encouraging for you, motivating you to get another one each and every game? Uh, yes, it's very motivating for us to get another one. Um, we focus on getting turnovers uh, in practice every day. And when we go in the game and execute getting turnovers and getting touchdowns off of it, it just motivates us even more to go to the next game and the next and so on. What did you see from uh, Tim Williams came in the second half really had a mm -hmm. big half? Um, him missing the first half, I knew it, it affected him a little bit uh, mentally. Like he was hurt about it. And he just uh, he was keeping everybody uh, motivated the whole first half of the game. And when he came in the second half, he just executed like he said he was going to and performed like Tim Williams always do. Yeah. Is the, uh, is the silver lining there that you can play a half without him and still hold the team to, I think it was like 70 yards of offense? Um, it's, I feel like uh, it was a good thing because we have guys who could, younger guys who could come in and execute just as good as the starters or the guys who've been here a longer time and stuff like that. So I feel like, I feel, I'm happy that we have the depth that we do in every position on defense. Particularly this point of the season, how important does that depth become? Um, I think it's very important because we have a long SEC stretch uh, in the upcom upcoming weeks, and we're going to need uh, a lot more people to rotate in so more people can stay fresh throughout the whole season. What, you, what have you seen from, I guess, Ryan Anderson's development? We've talked about him before, but mm -hmm. you know, last year he was viewed primarily as a pass rusher, mm -hmm. and that's sort of how he was utilized. Now, you know, he's a, an every down player almost. Um, yeah, Don Ryan uh, stepped up uh, during the offseason. Uh, he's been working hard. Um, he just didn't want to be seen as a pass rusher. Um, when he, he'll come in and play the run, and sometimes even in the summer he'll try to just make a, somebody laugh and get in three technique and try to play a double team every now and again. Um, but Ryan, uh, he works hard. Um, he tried to perfect every down so he can be out there every one, first through fourth down. Uh, it doesn't matter what the scenario is, and he's going to work hard and give you everything he's got to stop the run or the pass. How's he do with that three technique? Um, the three technique, he did pretty good when he was in there. He uh, dropped down to one knee and split a double team and stuff, and we wasn't expecting it, but he played it pretty good when he was in there. Delvin, you're one of the leaders of the team, and mm -hmm. when a guy transfers mid-season, do you guys have to address that when the team didn't come up, you know, and, and, and dealing with sort of the adversity of that? Um, yeah, I guess we looked at it a little bit, but um, it was a bit, he felt like it was the best thing for him, so we all, for our, uh, it was our old teammates, so all we could do was support him in his decision. But um, we still have to focus on who's here now and just keep moving on and progressing as the season goes on. So how much confidence has the defense really picked up, mm -hmm. especially the past couple games really heading into this one? Um, our defense picked up a lot of confidence, but we have to stay uh, humble about it and just keep executing like we have in the past games so we'll continue to have the outcome we had in these last couple of games. How much of a vocal role have you seen Jalen Hurts taking in the locker room? Um, he's become a lot more vocal since he's been playing a lot more. Um, early on, he was kind of quiet because he was a freshman, still getting used to everything, but now he's a lot more vocal. He'll uh, actually stand up and speak his mind rather than let somebody else say it. So, uh, he's a lot more vocal now than he used to be. Do you think that's important for a quarterback to, you know, be vocal with his teammates? I think it's uh, pretty important because if you're more vocal, I feel like it helps the offensive players uh, trusting you more. And just on the field being more vocal, it helps you get the calls and stuff out more quicker and efficiently. I think it'd be easy to, uh, you know, when, when you've got the kind of stretch coming up, mm -hmm. big, big picture. But the, the message around here is always just the next play, win that. Mm -hmm. How much does that help when you go into a run like this? Um, I think it helps a lot because if you start thinking about the big picture, you're going to think about how sore you are, how fatigued you're going to get and stuff like that. 
and all the negative things are going to affect you a lot more. But if you think about this, the next play or this week, one week at a time, it'll just if you uh, execute this week, you don't have to worry about next week. And when you, after you execute this week, you move on to the next week and execute that one. Just keep worrying about your execution week in and week out. You don't have to worry about the long stretch. It'll just go by in the flash. Do you, do you enjoy stretches like this? I mean, when you're, you're going up now against some of the best teams in the country, mm -hmm. do, you, do you get more excited for, for these? Um, I enjoy it. Um, I just like uh, playing football. and um, Just uh, going against a good team, just uh, see how where you're at and uh, all these good, good offensive linemen we go against and just, I just like competition and I enjoy it a lot and just looking forward to it. Last one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, man.